Today, my friends, is a good day. Today is new Amazon day. New Amazon day is in Echo Show 15. My puppy Bria likes it. Bria, you haven't even seen what's inside the box yet. So we're gonna show you everything this thing can do. We're gonna see what's inside the box. Now, what I like about this, landscape mode, vertical mode, it's bigger and doesn't take up quite as much counter space as the Echo Show 10 with the included speaker. Sure, you get a speaker, sure it rotates, but my plans for this is to mount this in my master bedroom or by my coffee bar in my kitchen. And just like all my video reviews, guys, in the description box, top link will be the Echo Show 15. I have the Echo Show 5, 8, love them. So I'm expecting big things from this as well. Let's get it out. One very satisfying thing about Amazon products is that little seal right there. Don't ask me why, it just is a beautiful thing. All right, let's flip this back over and away we go. They do do a really good job of their presentation. I'll be honest with you. The subtle things all over the boxes, it's kind of like Disneyland. They hide their logo and all sorts of stuff. Now, number one, the device is beautiful. So let's get this out real quick and then let's see what else is in the box. I'm gonna push that forward a little bit. And this is what I mean about the presentation as well. Just having things like right here in front of you, you got your little mount right there, but the way they put it in there kind of look like a little picture frame. I'm big on product packaging, so I dig these things. All right, so we got a little welcome guide here. We have a white cord, if you are wondering. Now this only comes in one color, the white frame with a black thin bezel around it. So technically you can call that a black frame with a white bezel or vice versa with the black screen. So it's a one color. We'll get some more close up shots in a second. And they give us a white plug. Good for white kitchens, especially where I'm gonna be putting this in. Amazon has made the mistake. Hopefully they will correct it on the Echo Dots and some of the speakers and the Echo Show 8, I believe. Don't quote me on the Echo Show 8, where you're the black one, they give you a white plug, and they need to color coordinate that a little bit better. So white or black plug on this would be cool in my book because of the white and black frame, and because my kitchen's gonna be spotless white, I like that. We also have screws and drywall hooks, so you can mount that. Looks like they give you a mounting template and it says important information on that little guide right there. I'm pretty sure that's gonna do it. Yes, that is. All right, so here's our mounting bracket right here in the white color. The cord length, if you are curious, tip to tip is gonna be a guesstimated four foot plug. The wall socket plug is gonna be a 30 watt plug and it actually is pretty thick of a little brick. Not too bad, but a little thick there. So if you're gonna be mounting it in landscape mode, they give you that template and vertical mode, they give you that template as well with directions about how to give it level, etc. My puppy is really loving it in the background if you can hear her collar. All right, so let's get this plastic off here and there we go. So. Right up here on the top, you have your camera shutter button, you have your volume up and down, your microphones, and your mute button on top there. Just like the other Echo shows, you slide the shutter on top, and that's really nice how they made that white to blend in with the white bezel. And it also has your red indicator for quick viewability to know that the camera is being blocked by the shutter. When you're ready to go, go ahead and flip that back, and as you can see there, now we see the camera. Again, one touch mute, mutes the microphone, volume up, volume down. Again, up there by my finger, there are two small holes for your microphone. And then on the back, if the camera's gonna pick that up, there are another two small microphone holes right here. There are your speakers right down here and right here as well. And then once this is mounted on the wall, slips right in here like this. I believe they actually sell it with a stand or you could like mount that on your kitchen countertop, probably swivels around, I believe they do. Alrighty, we got it plugged in and fired up in the kitchen temporarily. Now again, the white cord, not too bad. Obviously it has a little cord management, Velcro on the back of it, but let me show you the back of it a little bit more clearly. Underneath here, we already saw temporarily, but we have our power input here with a micro USB port right there. I do really like the white with the black. It kind of looks like one of those high-end picture frame televisions. So while that's loading, let me show you my DIY project, which behind my studio here, I have LED panels and a do-it-yourself fireplace television with a wood frame around it to make it look like one of those high-end picture televisions in the background of my videos. Just from first responses, the touch is a lot nicer than my Echo Show 8. It's just really, there's no feedback, like no vibration like your cell phone or anything like that, but it's just a lot 
lot smoother. The texture of the glass feels a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Show 15. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Now upon firing it up, you can also choose what is kind of like your wallpaper. You can do travel, art, abstract shapes, nature, seasonal, or your photos. So instead of all this, this can be kind of like a picture frame where when it's in kind of that sleep mode, standby mode, your photos are being displayed instead of nature travel. I'm gonna go ahead and hit nature here. That's what I have on my Echo Show 8. And it looks like even after just receiving this, it looks like there is a updated to the latest software. I'm gonna go ahead and download and install that. Updating this device. And while that's updating, there's also microphone inputs over here on the left-hand side of the screen to the left of the camera. And I've already showed you the top microphone inputs right there. And not to mention, we've already seen the reverse ones here be able to pick up your voice from any direction there. And also a great time to mention that obviously not just this device, but Amazon has just come out with their smart thermostat and you can control all that with your Amazon device devices that are Alexa enabled. So this is pretty cool. I haven't seen this before on an Echo Show where you set up a profile and you can do it for each of your family members for their schedules and Alexa will keep track of everything. So you could set up a profile here. I'll go ahead and hit that later. Now, obviously with all of the Amazon home security monitors and cameras, your Blink Minis, your Blinks, you can see all that through your Echo Show. So all you have to do is use the trigger word. I'm gonna try my best not to use that word too much to trigger yours. Now this screen right here, if you enable this screen, all of your family members can drop in on this camera and see what's going on. If you don't want that, go ahead and hit not now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit not now. I'll let you look over these things like Amazon Sidewalk with your Ring Smart Lights all of your different stuff. Then of course they're pitching you their Amazon Music Unlimited. Eh, I think their regular Amazon Music is pretty good with Prime. This device is ready. Upon firing up, just those speakers on the side is actually doing a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed with the quality. This is what's really awesome. So check this out. Down here in the corner here, we have recently played. And this is a lot more dialed in than my Echo Show 8. It does do the same kind of feature-ish, but I really like these small little widgets around here. So you can find the nearest coffee shop. Here are my smart plugs right here. You can rearrange widgets, widget gallery. I won't go through all of these obviously, but you have your calendar, suggestions, commute time, Amazon photos, music, audio, reorder, suggestions, weather, which is very important to me, uh, a little sticky note for your family, smart lights, shopping list, what to eat, deliveries, etc. And again, the responsiveness to this is much better than the Echo Show 8, at least the first gen. So as you can see here, I can actually scroll through my smart lights. My house heater is on. You have your recommended music over here. We have the date right here. I got my little weather and time up here. Now, obviously there are many different features. You can enlarge the clock. Here is the wonderful settings menu I was telling you about. We can move it this way. We can drop it down. Photo frame, video, Smart home music communication discovery settings, do not disturb, alarms, brightness, notifications, etc. Now, this is only on 50%, and I'm actually very impressed again, like I've already mentioned, with those side speakers right there. So, let's say we want to be fully out of the blue, off the grid. We're going to go ahead and hit our mute button, which lights up an LED light right there. And also down here at the bottom, you see this long bar. That means you are muted and this little symbol right here as well. Now, obviously I'm filming on a screen with a little bit of a reflection, but the quality is very nice. The screen resolution. And then when you're ready to go, go ahead and unmute that right there. The bar removes, the light turns off, etc. Slide your shutter for your camera once again. Camera cover closed. Again, really digging how they blend that in. And like I mentioned earlier, you can drop in on your other devices. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in on my Kitchen Echo Show, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit out the trigger word. Drop in on Echo Show 8. Office Echo Show, right? Yes. Even though I mispronounced it, it corrected me. All right, so I just hit that continue. And that took a little bit of time to fire up. My internet's a little slow out here in the country. 
I'm not sure why it's facing the roof. It's on the other kitchen countertop, and for some oddball reason, it's looking straight up. Maybe it's the position I have it, but as you can see, that doesn't look very HD. My internet out here, again, I'm out here in the sticks, I'm out here in the country, where that'd probably be a little bit better quality. I'm full HD over here on this small one, but this one is looking like it's filmed on a potato, probably like 720p or something like that. Let's figure out what's going on here. So here's my Echo Show 8, and I'm getting a good image over there. Sorry for the mess, we're in a full remodel around here. But as you can see, I can drop in vice versa. So you can drop in on your different devices. What's this little happy face thing here? To use effects, both callers must have enabled enhanced features. Okay, so you could do like, you haven't enabled this yet, you can after the call. Okay, so probably filters or something like that. Something kind of cute, you know, if you were having the grandkids drop in with the grandparents, etc. But again, that's what's nice about the shutter button is if you enable these things for your family, they can't just randomly drop in on you. Obviously, you would know if you're looking at the screen, but privacy is very nice as well. Volume are you on? What volume is this device on? Okay, for some reason, I tried that twice. It didn't work. My other devices, it tells you what volume you're on. This one did not. I'm about 55%, 50% or so. You know why? It might be because we're in communication with the shows. That's probably why. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. You can end, video off, you can mute. Let's see here, effects. Yeah, it won't let us do that until we're after off the call. So video off right there. You can mute yourself, video on. Let's go ahead and end the call. Tells you the time. Volume is this device on? This device is at volume five. Okay, volume five. So you can't enable some of those features when you're on the actual video call. Let's go ahead and enable those special effects. So you can also drop in on your Blink cameras like I already mentioned, on your Blink Mini, your outdoor cameras, and also the third-party security cameras that have these features enabled on them, like your Ring doorbell, all that stuff. I don't have any of those devices hooked up, so I can't show you that unfortunately. But with the naked eye, I'm not sure how it's coming out on video after it renders and up on YouTube, but the clarity of these pictures is stunning. It's very, very crisp. I'm very impressed with the quality and the brightness. And to me, that looks 4K. I don't know what the specs are, but it looks really crisp. It's at least 2K probably. So I really dig some of these features here. Now, Let's go ahead and dive on into some of the settings here. Again, home content, sounds, Amazon Kids, restrict access, things to try, all that kind of stuff. Now, let's go ahead and show you clock and display. Now, this is actually really cool. So you can import from your Facebook account, Amazon Photos, with Prime, you get unlimited full resolution photo storage with Prime plus five gigs of videos. Again, I already told you about the Facebook. You can import from your phone with the Alexa app on your phone. Seasonal, uh, minimal, and then 24 hour clock if you're military or like that. Uh, night mode. So night mode's actually really cool. I use night mode all the time. You can schedule it out. Nighttime clock, I always like it on automatic. It just means that it'll actually sense light coming in. I have no idea how because it happens with my Echo Show 8 in the kitchen where I normally have that shutter thing slid over. So somehow it knows and when the lights go out, it actually dims. Again, loving the weather right here. Very cool. So we just hit photo frame as we saw, and now I'm getting those photos that I chose. Now they're coming up like this, which is super cool. It's like an enlarged digital photo frame. You can do this with your photos as well if you choose that option where the grandkids, the grandparents, It'll be like this, looking like a smart picture frame TV. That's a super cool feature. Again, I have it on nature. So let's go ahead and take it off a of photo frame there. And to get out of that, I'm pretty sure you just hit home. So we'll come back to home here as it still shows that, but then your widgets as well. Now, of course, you can do music on this. Let's go ahead and hit just briefly. I'll probably only include like five seconds of this, but let's go ahead and hit, let's go ahead and hit this. There we go. Okay, recently played added. Now due to copyright, I'm only gonna be able to play like five seconds of this. So this is really cool. What I really like about the Echo shows as well is that they have the lyrics right here. And again, sorry for my internet. It is a little bit slow. So let's see, I think we can doggle off those lyrics. Yep. Yeah or we can doggle on the lyrics, which is really nice. I really like that feature.
Again, sorry, I can't play too much of that. For how thin this is, and the speakers, pretty impressive. Again, that's only on 50%. Now, I know what you came here for. You're like, Chris, flip it, flip it, flip it. Why haven't you flipped it yet? Let's see here. Automatically flips like a cell phone. Looking really sharp right there. So again, all same features. It's just now in portrait mode. And that's cool how you can do either or. Obviously, all the cameras will pivot with it. And let's go to home here. And that, wow, that's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so where's my widgets in landscape mode? Okay, there's my widgets in landscape mode. So I got my widgets there. Do we go up even more? Okay, so you can go all the way up in portrait mode or bring it down or get rid of that there, which kind of lagging a little bit. Maybe it doesn't go all the way down that way. Huh, let's see, there's up, there's down. We just did it. Huh, well, I have to, oh, there we go, okay. So not as, that great of response for some reason. Maybe it's my finger. I don't know. Let's try that one more time. Low sugar dietary preferences. Interesting. Okay. Nut free. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's go back to home. Boom. Let's see if we tap that. Oh, no. That's why. Because I hit that accidentally. Okay. So you got to be careful where your um, fingers are going or you're going to look at dietary restrictions before you know it. Now, let me show you one feature I love. Especially, I'm a terrible speller. So, how do you spell Mississippi? Obviously, I know how to spell that, but this is what I like. You can visually see the word, especially if this is close to you. I use this feature all the time with the Echo Show when it was on my desk setup, being able to visually see the word while I'm typing out an email. So, how many cups are in a quart? This is what I also love. Visually see. While you're cooking in your kitchen, etc. Awesome. So add spinach to my shopping list. You already have spinach on your shopping list. This is awesome. And then what you do is you fire up the Alexa app on your phone while you're at the store. And you can see what's going on here. One banana, coffee, eggs, red wine. Oh my goodness. You could add toilet paper over here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So another cool little feature with shopping. Let's go back to home here. Obviously, you could set alarms, and I use alarm feature all the time, telling it set an alarm at 8 a.m. so I can wake up properly. You have your different routines right here for good morning, good night. Kind of takes your smart devices to the whole nother level, but definitely some sweet features. I haven't dove into my Echo Show 8, so I'm not sure if they have some of that photo frame stuff yet, maybe with the update, but I really am enjoying the size of this and the look of it with the resolution. So I'm pretty impressed with it. Another awesome feature is that using Amazon Silk, the internet with this, you can watch online podcasts. This is a crackling fire video on YouTube. So you could have that in the background. I was actually thinking about mounting that over where my DIY smart television is behind me right there for the same purpose. But I didn't want to mount this because this will go in my kitchen in the other room above the coffee bar area. I'll let you guys mess around a little bit more deeper in there with some of your widgets. But for me, some key features, loving the widgets over here. Quick tap, turn off my lights if I don't want to do speech. If it's late at night and people are sleeping, you can go recently played. Add stuff to your shopping list. Big digital display for cooking. I use quarts and cups and how many teaspoons are in this and that all the time. Well, guys, it passes my book. Is it worth the money? If you have it, I definitely think it's worth it. In the description box right below the video, again, is going to be the link where you guys can read more about it. Any specs I didn't answer in this video. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching this review. Also, subscribe if you like more videos like this. And and sorry for the mess once again. This is a 10 acre farmhouse ranch full remodel. We're going to be doing a full office setup. This is just temporary shop and gym, woodworking, the whole nine yards. Check out the channel. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. Again, my name is Chris. Your links are below. We'll see you on the next video. Take care for now. Bye bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.